Hey, so I am a novelist, so today I'm going to share with you the basics of how I write a novel. Now, every writer is different, but for me, it all starts with a concept and an emotional through line. My debut novel, The End Games, now available in paperback, is about a zombie world that seems to be controlled by an almighty, mysterious game master. Now, for me, that's kind of cool, but ultimately, it's meaningless without an emotional core or central relationship, so the book is really about a 17-year-old guy trying to protect his 5-year-old brother in a very chaotic world. Sometimes the concept and characters arrive in my brain at the same time, but when they don't, it really helps me to ask a couple questions. One, who is the worst person for this concept to happen to? Like, who is the person in the world least equipped to deal with it? And number two, how over the course of the story can this become the best or at least most important thing to ever happen to them? Now, once those questions are answered, it will become clear that your story exists in one or more genre or subgenres. And once I've figured those things out, what I do is seek out the best stories that are already in that genre. I ask myself, why do these stories work? Or if I feel like they don't work, why? don't they? Over time, you'll start to notice certain common touchstones throughout the genre. And these things become touchstones because people who like those kind of stories, which if you're writing a novel should include you, just love that stuff. Now before I go on, I want to do two things. One, take this off because it's like crazy hot. And number two, I want to address something that some people might be thinking. Won't writing a book that way make me a copycat? No. You don't have to shoehorn all the touchstones into the story, and the ones that you do include, you're going to infuse with your own soul, and you're going to twist them in a completely original way. It's only when those touchstones feel Xeroxed or emotionally hollow that they become cliches. Okay, so from there I outline the plot. This takes a long time. With my kinds of stories, I try really hard to surprise the audience, so that process takes about a year or more. And then, of course, I write the book. I like to use a typewriter because it seems to help me focus, and I also handwrite a lot. When I'm writing on my computer, I use a program called Scrivener, and I also use this really awesome app called Freedom, which blocks the internet, which is a good thing. Usually I write in two to four 90 minute segments with 15 minute breaks in between. Now some people have very specific word count goals for their day, and I used to, but I don't do that anymore. I think that over time you kind of learn your own rhythms, and for me, like if it's not happening after two hours or so, I just do something else for the day because Rest is sometimes the most productive thing to do. Now, if you don't know your ideal schedule right now, don't worry, it'll come with time. So, okay, I write four to six days a week for two to four years, and then I have a draft. I really like the Stephen King method of putting the book away for a few weeks before revising. I have a couple readers that I really trust and I give my early work to, but in general, I don't share the book until I've got a big chunk of it done. So once I hear back from the people who read the draft, I do one or two big revisions. In these revisions, pieces of the plot can still be moved around. And then finally, we do a sentence level revision where I do everything I can to make the language sing. And then there is that wonderful, terrible moment when you send the book away. And it's tough, but you gotta be like Elsa and let it go. I would love to hear in the comments what your best writing tips are. And as always, thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.